Hey pilots, Drain Man here. Today we're going to learn how to fix the issue where your drone is just spinning for absolutely no reason at all. You can see here in the model that my quadcopter is actually rotating, but yet here on the bench it is sitting perfectly still. It is not moving at all. It is just sitting there flat on the table, but yet according to Betaflight, my drone is actually doing a... Uh, <laughs> backflips so today we're going to learn how to fix that and you might notice that if you were flying and you lifted off and you were just out in the sky and you let go of the sticks just to cruise you might notice your quadcopter is actually pulling in that direction that could be a big problem and today we're going to learn how to fix that all right pilot so the first thing i want you to do is jump into beta flight once you're in the beta flight the very next thing i want you to do is go ahead and power up your tyrannus once you have powered up your tyrannus make sure your quad is on your quad doesn't have to be on if everything is corresponding as if meaning that your receiver is soldered to the correct pad on your flight controller that your receiver is responding to the remote a lot of flight controllers have that option this one does not but that is okay I will just go ahead and power it up now head over to your receivers tab and in your receivers tab you will see that a lot of your endpoints aren't right so with your endpoints not being right what we need to do is we need to go ahead and fix that another thing is we want our, our minimums and our maximums we want those to be in the right spot so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and fix those together so what I want you guys to do is press menu and we are going to page over to the outputs and in the outputs is where we will edit this so channel 1 is for throttle so just to understand real quick I've gone over this in other videos but I'm gonna do it real quick with you guys uh, channels 1 2 3 and 4 are your regular standard channels that means these that's what those are everything after that is when you get into auxiliaries like channel 5 is actually auxiliary 1 channel 6 is auxiliary 2 so on and so forth whether you have a you know 8 channel receiver or 16 channel receiver will decide how many of those you actually get we are going to go ahead and we are going to start with channel 2 because channel 1 is for throttle. So in channel 2 what we will do is we will press enter to edit it and then we will go over to this tab right here. If you're rocking a QX7 you are going to, you're going to scroll your little wheel till you see sub trim because that's where we're at. Do you see sub trim here? That's where we are. Let me go ahead and zoom you guys in a bit. There you go. So go ahead and click on your sub trim and then I want you to go ahead and move this till you reach the 1500 point. So you see how I am now, I was jumping from 1501 to 1500 to 1501, da 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 da. So what we want to do is we want to be even, we want to be at 1500. So now that I'm set, the very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out and I'm going to go to the next channel. In this channel you will see this is way off, this is my pitch. My pitch is so far off that my quad is actually acting erratically. I mean not in a crazy sporadic way, but in a way that it's not acting the way that it should. So if I was to be in the air and I was trying to cruise, my quad would be moving when it shouldn't be. So I'm going to I'm going to bring this up to get me at the 1500 right where I need to be. Let's keep going. And then as you'll see, I am now at 1500. I'm going to exit and I'm going to go to the last channel, which I believe is y'all. And the 1500 point is good on that. The 1500 is our centers. Now, we are going to go ahead and we are going to start with our, uh, not start, but the next thing we're going to work on is our minimums. So, well, let's check throttle real quick. And you can do that, but kind of, you know, kind of stick it in a center spot. And if it's around 1500 or so, so like, I want to say that's somewhere around center for me. And uh, it, do, it does look pretty good. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave throttle alone in that sense. And then what we're going to do is we are going to press enter to edit it. And we are going to come over to where it's the minimum. So in the minimum for throttle, you can see that I'm at 988 right here. So 988 is not okay. That is not where we want to be. We want to be at 1000. All of our minimums need to be 1000. And as far as for our maximums, we want those. Make sure your Tyrannus is in the right direction because other than that your maximum is not going to be correct so I have now put the throttle in the full position in my maximum position so what I want to do is I'm going to edit this and get it to where it says that I am at 
there we go, so that it says that I'm at 2000. Sometimes it acts a little shaky, it'll give you like 1999 or 2001, that's okay. Just go to the, to the uppermost area, you know, just go one above. That's not going to hurt nothing. Let's over to the next one. That one is going to be our roll. So let's go ahead and hit the minimum of our roll. So right here you will see our minimum is too low. We're going to get that up to a thousand. Press enter. And then let's go to our maximum which is too high. We're going to get this one edited. I hope that you guys are picking up on how I'm doing this. And uh, it's really not that hard. You know, it's uh, it's pretty easy. So let's go ahead and set this next one. We're going to go down all the way and let's bring that up because it's far too low. Let's see where are we at. There we go. That'll work for me. I mean, yeah. Do, do you want it to be exact? You know, yeah. Yeah, I do. Does it have to be, oh my God, so perfect? Eh, you know. As long as you're close enough, your quadcopter is going to fly good. And not only is it going to fly good, it's going to fly consistent. So that means when I get to my next quad, uh, it's going to act the exact same way. And that's what we want. We don't want one where when I throw my stick in a certain amount of position, it acts one way. And then when I go to the next one, it acts differently. Because what that's going to do is that's going to get us in trouble. Oops. So, here we go. Let's get this last one there. And then, boom. So now, what I can do here, by doing this, I will exit out, and I will show you that everything, 200, one, I mean, 2,000, look, 2,000, 1,000. 2,000, 1,000. Yeah, it's 1999, same thing. 1,000. 2000 so there we go so I went one point under on my 2000s which is completely okay I'm gonna get exactly what I'm supposed to as far as that goes so now we have set our minimums we have set our maximums and we have also set our our centers because our centers what what can it's how the quad acts when we're not doing anything so here I am I'm in the air I've got a little bit of throttle going but I'm not doing nothing I'm just chilling you know I want my quad to act properly I want it to coast you know so if I if I go ahead and turn in just a little bit I want it to do that in the fashion that I'm asking it to do okay pilots something I want you to take note of here is if you will go ahead and take a look at the preview again you will see that my preview is a hundred percent still it is not moving at all it's not shifting it's not rotating it is behaving exactly as it really is in real life and what is that it's sitting on the table so that's phenomenal news that means that we did that correctly and you can always do that by checking your work you know use that to check your work throw it on the table plug it in see what it does if it's moving something ain't right come over to the receivers tab and check where your input uh where your where your stick endpoints are check your centers check your max check your min make sure everything's right where it's supposed to be and you know that you've done everything the way that you're supposed to do it Okay, pilots, you guys are on your way. If you guys are watching the Tyrannus QX7 slash X9D playlist, you're, I'm sure you're learning tons of stuff. If not, I'm going to link it in the video description. You can go down there and learn some more cool tricks about how to use your Tyrannus and make it work with your quad. Uh, the other thing, too, is uh, now that you guys know how to do this, I want you guys to make it a habit. As soon as you get a quad and you start setting it up, make sure you're doing this. Make sure you got your stick endpoints where they're supposed to be. I'm glad that we did this together. I had a blast. I hope you guys had fun too, and I'll see you on the next one.